what I intend to show. So if I look at the patient is normally sitting like this in front of us and when he opens the mouth, so this is the right side of the patient. Am I correct? Yes. Right side of the patient, sir, you can also see on the TV, okay? If I look from the lateral view here, you can appreciate the extraction areas of the first molar, second molar and tuberosity everyone can identify. Am I correct? Yes. Just after distal to the tuberosity, you will find a notch. It's called the amylar notch. And if I move my finger lingually or palatally, you will see a hamular process. This is the hamular process, which I can clinically palpate in each and every patient, each and every time. The more resolved the jaw, the more easier it is to palpate. The more resolved the jaw, the more easier it is to palpate this process. So, yeah, just get it here. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So we are looking at the hamular notch and the hamular process. Now, if you see again, this zone is located superiorly and medially to this process. Clear on this? Clear on this? Which means that when the patients open the mouth, thank you. You can pass this on, have a look again. Yeah. So, when the patients open the mouth, so let's say I want to engage this zone, okay? When the patient opens the mouth, what I need to do is I need to do a lot of palpation, okay? So when the patient opens the mouth, I will start, start feeling first the buccal area and I will start feeling the palatal area and make a rough judgment apart from the x-rays that how much could be the width of the alveolar ridge in that area. Okay, first thing I will check. The second thing I will do is I will try to palpate the complete tuberosity. So take your time and palpate it. In 99% of the cases, the tuberosity